Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. In this video, I'm going to give you a demonstration of our ClickSense mobile app. Now, before we get started, you can download the app from Google Play for Android or from the Apple App Store for iOS. I have the app already installed. And basically, we're just going to configure it to connect to my ClickSense Enterprise or ClickSense Business SaaS tenants. So I tap the icon to get started. You can see I have a couple of sites already configured. I'm going to tap the plus icon and put in the URL of my SaaS tenant. In this case here, I have one called retrogaming.us.clickcloud.com. And we'll just give it a friendly name and I'll just call it Retro Gaming. Click Add and now it's available in my menu. So now I'm going to tap this and the first time you connect after you are authenticated, it's going to ask you to create a collection. So let's go into my tenant and I'm going to use my credentials and you'll get this hello message that comes up and it's going to prompt you now to add content. And the reason for this is you might have certain apps in different categories that you don't want accessible from the mobile device. Maybe it's not formatted correctly. Maybe you want it to have more control on how the content is displayed. Now you can go through your apps, which are available in your personal or spaces. And in this case here, just click the plus icon on the right. So we're going to add this one here and that one there. And you can't see me tapping, but I'll put some graphical indicators as well on the screen so you can see me tapping these. Okay, and those have now been confirmed as being added to the mobile collection. Now I'm gonna click I am done. Now when you do that, you basically now have all of your apps available to access as you normally would from a web browser. But this will provide you a optimized user experience from this native app, uh, basically for both online and offline analysis. So I'm just going to give you a brief example here. We're just going to go into our uh, sales app, sales dashboard 2021. And we are right now in a uh, single object mode, if you will, where it's going to show you, for example, instead of the entire sheet with all your objects, it's going to show you the individual objects on the sheet. So here we happen to have just a list box. And then here we have a uh, native uh, map component. And then the next one, you can see as I'm just swiping, we have KPIs. Now you can have these available all in one view. When you create the app, you have the option of changing the layout to a list view or a grid view. Um, if it's a list view for when it's accessed through the mobile device, it's going to be like this, where you can kind of like paginate to each of your objects. When it's a grid view, it'll show them all on the same screen. Okay, if you want to access or select, you have a couple options here. I'm just going to single tap and this will activate this particular object. So I'm just going to gently tap and now I can touch the lasso and I could start selecting individual data points if I wanted to, or I could actually drag my finger along the axis and select data points like that. And when you confirm those data points, so for example, let me just choose these individual objects here and these objects here. Those are the objects that are selected. If you swipe up, you can see your selections. So if I tap product name, now you can see all of the individual objects that I selected. So you could further tailor your selections and searches here, utilizing this new selection search bar. You could also look at all of the different dimensions that are available. If I wanted to choose, let's say additional category names, maybe just filter this down on bath clothes. I can do that as well. It's fairly straightforward and very intuitive. Okay, I can add a bookmark for my selections, create a new bookmark, clear selections, I can step back, etc. Okay, if I also wanted to share this, I can click the share icon like you see here, and I could share it as well. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. So let's go back. And if I wanted to take an app offline, in other words, download it and have it use the actual associative engine on my mobile device. I could then select the app, in this case here in the bottom right, you can see the little download icon, and it'll say you will have access to the app based blah, 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 when offline. So I hit confirm. And this is actually now downloading this app to my device. Now you can see I have a menu, open offline version, delete offline version, remove from mobile collection, or look at app details. So now I can do open offline version. 
So this basically is going to perform exactly the same as if I was running with the engine online, if my device was not connected to uh, the internet, etc. Okay, and lastly, what I'd like to show you is the integrated data alerting. So all the alerts that are triggered are maintained in the alert section here on the bottom right. I could tap one of these alerts and I could look at additional detail and I could actually jump into the app. But let me show you an alert that occurs in real time. So off screen, you can't see this, but I'm going to initiate a process of changing data in one of my apps. And what you're gonna notice on the screen, you're gonna see a alert happen on the home page. So in this case here, you can see it popped up in the bottom alert sales alert mobile triggered so I click OK and that clears the alert now watch this so what I'm going to do is just navigate away from the app and pretend like I'm just in another app in this case here we're just going to stay on this page here so now on the home page I'm just going to initiate that alert request again and what will happen here is this will then provide a normal mobile notification preview that pops up and there you go. And I could actually tap it and it'll bring me directly to that alert. In this case here, we were looking for sales that were over 2 million. And here you can see May 3rd at 1.29 p.m. I could tap that, it gives me additional detail. And then I could tap view an app. And this will bring me directly to that app. And now this one is actually in what's called grid view. So you can see all the objects on the screen. And then you can just tap an individual object to focus in and perform your selections on that object. Okay. One other thing, if I go back and you click on your profile settings, you can see there's a diagnostics detailed. If you have any issues, turn on your detailed diagnostics and you could send them directly to us from an email along with the attached file, like you see here. So that's something to help you out with troubleshooting. And then you also have the ability to perform downloads only when you're on a Wi-Fi uh, network as well. And then if you want to send additional analytics of what's going on to us, you have this switch as enabled. All right, that's all I have. If you have any questions, please post them where this video is posted, whether in YouTube or in the Click community, and I'm happy to help. And if you want a deeper dive on ClickSense Mobile, don't forget to check out the next generation mobile analytics session with my colleagues Kaike Zaniolo and Chris Mambardi at ClickWorld from May 10th to the 12th. Hope to see you there.